Hello kindergarten artists. Today you are going to use clay for the first time. I'm sure you're very excited. Make sure you listen very carefully because there are a lot of rules to using clay. Here it is. In just a moment, you are going to be getting a little chunk of clay. It will be looking kind of like this, like a cube. Um, don't worry, your hands will get a little bit messy, but you can wash them afterward. When you get your chunk of clay, what you are first going to do is start to roll it into a ball. Sometimes I like to kind of squeeze it a little bit with my hands. If you'd like to roll it in your hands like this, you can, or you can roll it, I'll turn it down, on the table too. It is up to you. I kind of like to do it in my hands because I feel like I can make it a little rounder, like a ball. Doesn't have to be a perfect ball. That looks pretty good to me. Next, I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to stick my thumb into the top of the ball. I am not going all the way through because I don't want it to go that way. I want it to be a bowl or a cup, so it shouldn't have a hole in it. So I'm gonna push in, closer, pushing in, not all the way. That's a good amount. And now I'm going to do something called pinch and turn. I want you to go like this with your fingers, two on top, one on the bottom. This is a pinch motion. Thumb goes back in and I'm going to pinch and turn, pinch and turn, pinch and turn. You say it with me, pinch and turn, pinch and turn, pinch and turn. And you can start to see it's starting to look a little bit more like a little pot or a little bowl. So I'm gonna keep pinching and turning. Sometimes people like to hold it like this but you are just pinching and keep turning it around. I'm not pushing too hard, I don't want any holes. Pinching and turning until I like how big it is. Now, you will choose one symbol that you like and hopefully you have, where is it? This paper right here. Um, and on this paper, you will see some different symbols. A heart might mean love. A star could mean nighttime. A paintbrush meaning you love art. Music notes, you love music. Football, you love football or sports. And you can choose any of these. I think I'm gonna choose, hmm, I'm gonna choose the flower because I miss the springtime. So I'm gonna choose the flower. I'm going to use a tool called a pick. Everyone say pick. A pick has on one end a very sharp point. It's made of wood. The other end is kind of round. I like using the sharp point because it's almost like a pencil and you're going to draw with the sharp end. And I'm going to draw a flower into the bottom part of my pinch pot. So here we go. I'm gonna try my best to show it. There's one petal. Oh boy, I need to look over. I'm not going too deep. Sorry guys, I hope you can see it. It's a little tricky to do it with my head up. And I'm just drawing into it and doing my best to draw a flower in the bottom. Okay, that's okay. Now. If you wanna add some decoration, I would, because this looks like a nice pot, but I don't know that it's done yet. You can do some cool little dots on the top for decoration all the way around. That can be a nice little pattern. You could do maybe some stripes on the outside, drawing stripes. This will be especially fun if you have stripes to color in when we add color to it in a couple weeks. Oops. So I'm adding some lines, I'm adding some dots. Maybe I have lines on the inside too. That can look kind of pretty, a nice little pattern. Like that on the inside. Okay, when you're all done, oh, I forgot something. Now, you have what's called a pick, but you will also have a little cup of water. This is the clay cup, just meant for clay, not for paint. Um, they will be on the shelf behind here where you'll find the um, picks are in the green 
bucket or the green thing. Um, clay is in the clear bucket and then there should be cups for water on top of that. Just a little bit of water. Um, if there's any part of your clay that starts to crack, like there looks like there's maybe a space where it's getting a little bit um, dry, this is called the one finger rule. You are going to dip your finger in the cup, one finger, and you can smooth out any areas that got a little bit dry. Now artists, sometimes people like to add too much water. If you add too much water, that's a problem. Too much water to clay makes it turn into mud and then it won't stay nice anymore. So you need to make sure you use one finger. It's called the one finger rule. You dip in one finger, tiny bit of water and done. You don't need any more because it will probably stay pretty nice. When you're all done with your symbol and some nice decorations, you stay seated, raise your hand, and the teacher will come over to write your name on the bottom. You'll write just your full name, your first name. You can help spell that name, and then the teacher will write the initials of your teacher so that we know which class it goes to. Then you can put this on the shelf behind me to draw to dry and then you may wash your hands at your sink and you may free draw staying seated. This is not a time to be walking around the classroom because people need to focus to finish this today. So that is your beautiful clay pinch pot. It's called a pinch pot because you pinch it, right? Pinch and turn, pinch and turn. Um, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful pots. All right, goodbye kindergartners.